Is your home Wi-Fi network secured? Is your router properly configured to avoid being accessed by anyone else? Or, let me put it this way, has your Wi-Fi network been hacked? Whether your answer is a yes or a no, you must see this video. It is possible that your router might have been already hacked and you are just not aware of it. In this video, we are going to talk about Wi-Fi hacking. I will show you how Wi-Fi hacking is done and how easy it is to break into different Wi-Fi networks. May it be the Wi-Fi network of your neighbor or a business establishment regardless whether they are with PLDT, Converge, Royal Cable, and among others. Hi, my name is Erwin of ClickerWayne.com and you are watching The Commuting Enterprise Owner. Let's begin. I made this video with two main objectives in mind. One is for educational purposes and two is for public awareness. It is a good idea if we become aware of the possible consequences of being hacked. Your Wi-Fi, whether it's for your home or for your business, your wireless network must be properly secured. Hacking is both illegal and legal. Did I surprise you or get you confused? Let me explain. Hacking per se is illegal if done without any consent or permission. It is considered as a crime and it is subject to imprisonment and fine. Here in the Philippines, we have several laws that punish the act of hacking and these are RA 11449 or Access Device Regulation Act of 1998, Republic Act 10175 Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012, RA 8792 or Electronic Commerce Act of 2000, Republic Act 8792 otherwise known as Electronic Commerce Act of 2000, then last but not the least, we have RA10173 or the Data Privacy Act of 2012. If I miss out anything, feel free to share it by commenting below, aye? Eh? Hacking becomes legal if done in accordance with law and if you have the permission to do so. Otherwise, you'll end up behind bars. So, my advice, don't do it for fun or treat it as a game. Don't be a script kitty. Script Kitty is an inexperienced and immature hacker who lacks the expertise to write his own codes and most of the time rely on using hacking programs written by other hackers. Learn how you can protect yourself or your business and learn the basics on how to improve the overall security of your wireless network. Wire Driving Honor the privacy of others if you honor your father and thy mother. Now, Wi-Fi hacking can be done in different ways and techniques, and I'm going to start with war driving. So, what is war driving? If you have seen the movie War Games, then you probably already have an idea what war driving is. It originated from war dialing, where phone numbers are dialed in search of modems. War driving, on the other hand, is a method used to search for unsecured Wi-Fi or wireless networks by driving around in a slow-moving or sometimes parked vehicle. War driving is done for different reasons like to steal personal or banking information, to use your network for criminal activity, reconnaissance which penetration testers or white hat hackers do as part of their job. Hacking a router of a business establishment Nowadays, many business establishments are offering free Wi-Fi access to their customers. If you run a business and you provide free Wi-Fi access to your customers or guests, make sure that your network is properly configured. Of course, you will not want your guests or customers to have access to your router's web interface. A business establishment with poorly configured Wi-Fi network makes them an easy target for hackers and script kiddies. Let me show you what I mean. For this part, I will only use my mobile phone and Google to hack the router of a local business in Santa Rosa, Laguna. Their internet service provider is Royal Cable. To make this router hacking legal, I ask for permission first. Of course, we don't want to break the law and end up in jail. Since they provide free Wi-Fi access to their customers, you can easily get the password to connect. Once connected, next thing I did was to go to the settings of my iPhone, hit on Wi-Fi, then click on the service set identifier or SSID for short. 
From here, I check and obtain the router's gateway address, which is 192.168.1a.1. Next step, I pull up a browser and type in the router's gateway address to access the router's web interface, and voila! From here, I was able to get additional information that I needed for the hack, that is, the model of their Huawei router. With this valuable information, I went ahead and googled for the default username and password of the device. It didn't take me that long. So, when I was able to obtain the default access credentials, I went back to the router's web interface and typed in the default username and password. And boom! I was able to get in and have access to their Huawei router. Once a router is hacked, you can do simple to complicated stuff like changing the password or rerouting internet traffic to malicious websites. Hacking your neighbor's Wi-Fi Have you ever thought of breaking into your neighbor's Wi-Fi network and steal bandwidth for internet connection without having to pay for a dime? Remember, thou shall not commit to thy neighbor's wi I mean, Wi-Fi. Anyways, this time around, I'm going to show you how Wi-Fi hacking is done using a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus running on Kali Linux. To begin, let's pull up a terminal. We need to have root access to execute the program that we are going to use, so I'm logging in. And type in Wi-Fi, and then we'll use Rock U Dictionary. Here, you can see we have a total of 12 SSID available or Wi-Fi network, two of which are mine. Uh, LonesD2.com and ClickerWayne Guess, and then PLDT Home Fiber, which is going to be our target for this attack. So, let's bring it on. I will have a separate video for this uh, tool uh, that we're using, Wi Fi. For now, I'm just gonna show you how Wi Fi hacking is done using this tool. And there we have the password. Rosita 89 Let's try to connect to that PLDD Wi-Fi using the password we just had And let's try Google, then search for something. By the way, if you need tissues or interfolded paper towels, please check out our store on Lazada. I'll leave the link in the comment below. So as promised, here are some basic tips that you must do to avoid your router or Wi-Fi being hacked. Change your router's admin credentials. Change the default SSID or Wi-Fi network name. Use strong passwords for your router admin access and SSID. Enable firewall and SSID isolation. Have a separate Wi-Fi network for your guests or customers. Alright, so that's about it for now. Once again, my name is Irwin of ClickerWayne.com. Thank you for watching. Until then.